Hey guys, it's Katie. I am going to show you my attempt at propagating my thimble cactus today. If you like this type of content and you like our page, it would definitely help us out if you liked and subscribed. So let's jump right in. So this wasn't planned intentionally. Uh, there was some damage to my thimble cactus when I received this from Succulent Studios in the mail. And the little balls, which are here, you can see, did fall off in shipping. And you can see they came off of here and here. So there was four in total on here and two of them fell off. So I don't know if this is the correct method to propagate these guys, but I am going to give it a shot since they fell off. And rather just throwing them in the trash, I would like to see if I can get a cute, cute little cactus out of it. So... What I do is I do like these to completely scab over on the bottom here. And I am just going to use the method that I use to propagate the succulent leaves that have fallen off of those plants in the past. What I do is I get a cute little miniature pot and I do put succulent mixed soil in here. And it's a faster draining soil, I believe. You can find this at like a grocery store, Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards, your local garden center, anywhere like that should carry your typical cactus mix. And what I like to do is I just put these guys like right down in there. And I don't get it wet for about a week, seven to 10 days roughly. And the reason for it is I want a scab to develop on that opening part of the little ball or leaf, either or, because if you don't allow that to happen, and I figured this out by trial and error, without that scab, it will drink too much moisture out of the soil. It'll expand very quickly and plump up, discolor, and then wilt away rather quickly. And again, I learned this because I did it. So that clearly did not work. I am going to try this method after about 7 to 10 days. I will visually inspect these and see if they have a scab. And this one even already almost looks like it might have it, but I might let it sit for a little bit longer. This one definitely is not scabbed over as much. I definitely want them both to be scabbed over before I get the soil moist. I'd like to just use one little pot. I don't know if they'll both make it. And from there, I use just like a normal plant mister or spray bottle. I use uh, either purified water, distilled water, or just like filtered water out of our kitchen sink. We have a special filter for our drinking water, and I use that for my plants as well. I fill this up, and every two to three days, I'll just come and mist this. And then I keep it in a western facing window. If it is drying out a little bit quicker than I would like it to, I have moved some of them to our southern window and we don't have sunlight that's quite as intense in our southern windows as we do in our western window due to some large trees that we have right in front of our house and our house faces south. So that is where I'm going to start with the propagation of my thimble cactus. Definitely check back here in a couple weeks and I will give you guys an update. Don't remember to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.